What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing the ultimate drugstore makeup starter kit for beginners and I am so excited because I've seen other videos like this floating around YouTube but I've never done it myself. This is a very pared down collection that just fits in this one little bag so even if you are not necessarily a beginner and you just want to know some really solid good products at the drugstore then you're not going to want to miss this video and quickly just before we jump in I I did want to say that this is actually a collaboration with Mrs. Melissa M here on YouTube. I was so excited because I have been a fan of her channel for several months now. I discovered her back in the fall and just honestly have fallen in love with her channel. If you haven't watched her, you are really in for a treat because she is just so warm and inviting and watching her videos is like sitting down with a friend and chatting about makeup. Not to mention her content always makes me want to click on her videos. She talks about drugs store makeup a lot. She does dupe videos pretty often, also hidden gems, and I really love watching those. And while her channel is focused on women over 50, I feel like women of any age would enjoy watching her channel. She has the best recommendations. I have definitely purchased quite a few products that she suggested and really, really ended up loving them. So be sure to head over and check out her channel and subscribe. Make sure to let her know in the comments that I sent you over there. So let's go ahead and talk about this drugstore makeup kit for beginners. My approach might be a little bit different than others who have done this video before that you might have seen. I wanted to create a very pared down, very curated collection that could just fit in this little bag and that has a lot of universal products that I feel like could work for most people, which is definitely a challenge because I know there's all types of skin tones and skin textures out there, but I didn't want to start going off on tangents and giving you guys like a foundation for every situation or every different skin type. I really Really just wanted this to be a starter makeup kit that you can just start with these products and then build out your collection from there. So anyway, I feel like this was a long enough intro. Let's go ahead and get into the products. So I guess we'll start out with primers and I do have two different primers to show you. I think they both serve different purposes depending on the situation. So the first one is the Revlon Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing Primer. So this is for somebody who may have textured skin, if you have fine lines, and wrinkles, this formula is going to just smooth all of that out and just make a really smooth and silky canvas for makeup to lay on top of. And I think this is pretty universal when it comes to skin types because it's not overly emollient, it's not overly hydrating or oily or greasy, but it's also not drying or matte. It's just a very like in-between kind of a product that I think can work for a lot of different skin types. And this is also a dupe for the new Hourglass Vanish Primer. It feels and applies almost identically to that. And then I also wanted to talk about the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. So this one is great for keeping your makeup in place all day. It has a gel-like texture. It's a little bit sticky. It kind of never quite dries down, but it just creates a really good base for your makeup. So if you need your makeup to last all day, I think this is definitely the one to pick. It has a really lightweight gel texture that again, I think can work for every skin type. I have really dry skin and this does give a little bit of hydration, but not too much. And I know plenty of people with both dry skin and oily skin who love this one. And also this one is a dupe for the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. So with both of these, you're really getting a high-end feeling product for drugstore pricing. So I think you really cannot go wrong with both of these. And then when it comes to foundation, this one was really hard because I wanted to try to pick a formula that would get along with most people's skin types and also that would be something that you could reach for in many different types of situations. I've seen drugstore starter kit videos like this where you know they recommend a tinted moisturizer, then a medium coverage foundation, then a high coverage foundation. And I didn't wanna do that because I just wanted to kind of narrow it down to the one that a beginner would really want to start out with. For me, that's the Maybelline Fit Me. I have the dewy and smooth version because I have dry skin. This one's perfect for normal to dry, but they also do make a matte and poreless option for those of you who may have more normal to oily or oily skin. So depending on which skin type you have, you can pick the one that's right for you. But what I love about the Fit Me foundation is it has a really nice shade range and the texture is just fantastic. 
fantastic. It feels like a high-end formula. It goes on very, very smooth and skin-like. It really just looks like your skin, but better. It has a satin finish, which is very natural. It's not overly dewy and it's not matte either. It's just right in between. And this is also a very versatile product as well. The formula is very thin, so it's not going to feel heavy on your skin. If you just want a really light wash of color, like a tinted moisturizer, you can always apply this with a damp beauty sponge and it'll shear it out nicely and just give you a little hint of coverage. Whereas if you want just very natural coverage, I usually just apply it with my fingers and that works perfectly. Or you can also use a brush and that'll give you more of a medium coverage as well. If you want fuller coverage, this does build upon itself extremely well without getting cakey or looking too heavy. And then you can always add concealer to different areas of your face too if you want more coverage. So I just think this is one of the most versatile foundations in my entire collection. And I think it's just great for beginners because it looks very natural and it's super user-friendly and easy to work with. Next up for concealer, I have two different options to share with you depending on the coverage level that you want. So if you're somebody who just really wants to brighten up your under eye area and you don't really have a lot of dark circles or discoloration to hide, I recommend the Instant Age Rewind Eraser from Maybelline. This one has a little sponge tip and you just kind of swipe it underneath your eyes and blend and it's so thin and natural looking but yet it brightens up your under eye area really beautifully. It's a really forgiving formula. It doesn't settle into fine lines and it just looks really, really natural again. But if you're somebody who needs a little bit more coverage, my favorite is the Catrice True Skin High Cover Concealer. This one is the perfect balance between high coverage and looking really natural underneath your eyes. And as somebody who is 44 years old, that's definitely important to me because concealers like Tarte Shape Tape end up being really heavy and settling into the fine lines underneath my eyes and they end up looking kind of cakey and dry. And this one doesn't do that. It has hyaluronic acid in the formula and it just kind of plumps up your skin and doesn't settle into the fine lines, which I love and it looks so smooth and natural yet it gives amazing coverage under your eyes. So this is another one of those really foolproof formulas that is just so easy to use and it's always going to look good. Next, when it comes to a setting powder to either set your under eyes or your face, you all know, at least those of you who have been with me for a while, that I do not use powder at all. Just having dry skin, I don't like the look of powder. I like my skin to look a little bit dewy. But that being said, there is one powder that is really, really beautiful and just about undetectable on the skin. And that one is the number seven powder. This is their Lift and Luminate Triple Action Finishing Powder. So this is a beautiful beautiful formula and it reminds me so much of the Charlotte Tilbury powder. They feel identical. They apply very similarly on your skin. And what I love about this is that even having dry skin, it really does not look powdery or cakey on me. It just is very seamless and kind of melts into your skin and looks super flawless. So while this is the best option that I've found for dry skin, even if you don't have dry skin, I think you will really enjoy this just because it's so finely milled and just leaves a beautiful undetectable finish on your skin. Also, I think it's a good idea to have a setting spray on hand. This is my preferred method of setting my face rather than using powder. I'd rather just spritz a little bit of this on and I'm good to go. And the Milani Make It Last setting spray is my absolute favorite. This is like my third or fourth bottle of this one. I think it's a good dupe for the Urban Decay All Nighter because it just helps your makeup to lock in place and last the entire day. It claims to give you 16 hour wear on the bottle. I don't think I've ever worn makeup for 16 hours, maybe once or twice when I was younger, but this has lasted me as long as I've needed it to. I also love the mister on it as well. It's really, really fine. It doesn't create those big like droplets of water all over your face. And another thing that I use this for very often is wetting shimmer eyeshadows if I want them to pop a little bit more on my lid I'll just take a shimmer shadow on a brush or my finger and then spritz a little bit of this on it and it just kind of foils the shadow and makes it look more intense so I love having a setting spray on hand for both of those reasons. And then when it comes to blush, this was hard for me because there are so many amazing drugstore blushes that I know and love and that I talk about so much here on my channel, but I tried to kind of get into the mind of somebody who is a beginner, somebody who 
is just starting out with makeup and maybe just wants to start playing with blush. And I decided on the e.l.f. Powder Blush Palette. So this is just great for a beginner makeup kit for many reasons. One, the formula is absolutely incredible with this. It is pigmented, but also super blendable. So these blushes really show up well. If you have a little bit of a deeper skin tone, they still will show up. If you have a lighter skin tone, you may have to just use a little bit of a lighter hand with maybe these two colors that are a little bit deeper, but these build up beautifully. They just apply like a dream. And for somebody who, again, is just getting into makeup or starting out with makeup, this is great because you have a lot of different colors to play with and you can kind of get a feel for what colors look best on you, whether it's warmer tone blushes or cooler toned, it has both options. Or just in everyday life, if you do more of a warm toned eye look and you want a warm blush, pick up one of these two on the top. If you want something cooler toned, like if you have a gray eye look, let's say, then you wanna use these cooler toned shades on the bottom. Also, you have a couple different finishes in here. You have matte shades and ones that are shimmery, but they're not too shimmery. They're really more, I would say, almost of like a satin finish and you can mix and match these as well. I have often layered these on top of each other. I sometimes start with this one and then kind of lighten it up a little bit with this one if I want to just create a totally different color. So this is just a really fun palette to play with and just get yourself familiar with blush. And like I said earlier in the video, then you can just build out your collection from there. There's so many great options at the drugstore, but I think if I were starting out, I would probably want something like this. Also, it's nice to have a cream blush option in your kit as well, just to kind of layer with the powder blushes. I do that all the time where I'll put down, I actually did it today, um, where I put down a cream blush first and then add a powder on top and it really helps lock the blush into place and it helps it to last all day. But also you can just wear the creams alone. I love that, especially in the summertime when I just want a dewier look and just like a really quick quick and easy, almost like blushing from within kind of a vibe, I usually reach for a cream blush. So I think personally, the ones that are the easiest to work with would not be the liquid blushes and tubes. I think those kind of have a little more of a learning curve. I would go for a cream blush in a pot, like these ones from e.l.f. These are the e.l.f. Putty Blushes. And I find these to be the easiest to work with because they have just a slightly dry formula. It has that putty-like texture. So you can't really go overboard with these. When you pick them up with a brush or your fingers, they're a lot more sheer. Now they do build up beautifully. They're not gonna leave like a sticky kind of residue or feeling on your cheeks. So you can easily build these up. They dry down immediately. But if you don't want a lot of color or you're just getting used to applying blush, I think this would work out perfectly. And you can just pick them up with your finger and just kind of dab them on your cheeks this way. This is the Bora Bora shade, which I'm actually wearing in the video today. You can just pop it on your cheeks like that and it just blends with just a few taps. It's so, so easy and user-friendly. Or just like if you're using a powder blush, you can swirl a little brush brush in here and apply it that way and it works just as well. So if you're somebody who hasn't yet dipped your toe into cream blushes, I think this is the best formula to start out with because it's super easy and then you can just build from there. And then when it comes to having a bronzer in your collection, I definitely recommend the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer for a couple different reasons. The first is that it's a super easy to use formula. These are incredibly blendable and soft, just like the name suggests, they're very silky. So they're not gonna grab to your skin in weird places and look muddy. Also, they're matte, so you don't have to deal with shimmer or glitter in the formula at all. You can always add a shimmery bronzer down the road, but I think just for beginners, matte is definitely the way to go. This also comes in a few different shades. I have the two lightest options. One of them is a little bit warmer and then the other one is cooler. I like the cooler one personally because I have a cooler undertone. So my shade is sun-kissed, but the other one is a little bit warmer and that one would work really well for lighter skin tones as well. But they also do have deeper options too. Next, when it comes to highlighter, I have two different versions. One that's a little bit more subtle and then one that's more bold. So depending on what you prefer, you might want one over the other, or you may want both just to use at different times for different occasions. So as far as a subtle highlight goes, 
I would recommend the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This has been a favorite of mine for a long time, and I think even though the color looks a little bit deeper in the pan than my skin tone, I can still use this and it works beautifully. It almost just kind of blends in with my skin and looks like I'm glowing from within. It doesn't look like I actually applied a highlighter. You can really can't mess it up at all. It's a baked formula, goes on super seamlessly, and it just kind of makes your skin look a little bit dewy, like when it catches the light but most people probably wouldn't be able to tell that you're wearing highlighter. You just kind of, like I said, look like you're glowing from within. And then if you like a more bold highlight, my favorite, favorite formula would have to be the Revlon Skin Lights. This is also a baked product, and I think baked products are just so easy to work with and so skin friendly as well. This has a super, super smooth formula and definitely a more dramatic gleam to light up your cheekbones. I think this formula is actually a really close dupe for the Anastasia Amrizi highlighter and the shade Daybreak Glimmer is almost the exact color match. I know I've shown these two side by side in previous dupes videos and again this is a case of buying a drugstore product that performs like high-end so I definitely would recommend this one. It's a hidden gem. Not a lot of people talk about it. Moving on to eyes. When it comes to eyebrows I definitely recommend getting a skinny brow pencil. I just find the skinny ones to be the easiest when it it comes to drawing on those hair like strokes and my favorite is the NYX micro brow pencil this one comes in a lot of different colors and it's a dupe for the Anastasia brow Wiz. it's identical as far as I can tell I really can't tell the difference it's not too stiff and hard to draw but also it's not so greasy and waxy that it feels like it doesn't stick to your skin well. And having that skinny little tip just makes it really easy to get a natural result, especially for a beginner. And then when it comes to brow gel, I would recommend either the e.l.f. Wow Brow or the Essence Make Me Brow. And I wouldn't get both of these because they are very similar to each other. They're almost identical, but I'm just suggesting both because one or the other might be easier to get where you live. Both of these I think are just an awesome formula for beginners because they are not too stiff but they offer like a natural hold to your brows and they just keep things in place and they have some little fibers in the formula to help fill in any sparse areas and also they have a teeny tiny little wand that helps with precision. I know everybody's been recommending that new NYX Thick It Stick It brow gel but that one for me has a little bit of a bigger wand and if you're a beginner I think the, the little one is just way easier and then you won't be getting brow gel like all over you know outside of your brows. I think the little wands on these just make it super easy to control it and again these are also a dupe for the Benefit Gimme Brow. They're only a couple of dollars and virtually the same thing so highly recommend either one of these. Another great thing to have in a makeup kit is an eyeshadow primer and this is my favorite one. This is from Milani. This honestly has the best formula for smoothing out your lids and just helping shadows to grip to your eyes and last a little bit longer throughout the day. I don't think this is necessary. If you have drier eyelids, you don't necessarily have to go with an eyelid primer. A lot of days I just apply my eyeshadows and they last and they're fine, but I know those of you with oily eyelids might have issues with creasing throughout the day, so a good primer will help you avoid that and help with longevity. Next up, when it comes to eyeshadows, this was tough because there are tons of affordable eyeshadow brands that I think are amazing, like ColourPop, BH Cosmetics, but they are really not sold at drugstores, so I was trying to keep this very drugstore focused for the most part. I have two different options to show you. The first one is from Essence, and I think these are definitely my number one favorite. I love these because they have a wonderful formula that is just so easy to work with, especially if you're a beginner. I think the matte shades aren't overly pigmented. They're easy to blend, but yet you can build them up if you want a little bit more pigmentation and the shimmer shades are also really nice and creamy and buttery and just smooth on your eyes. So I love the formula and also I like that these all have six pans because you can get a variety of looks with them. I know a lot of people recommend the e.l.f. bite size palettes and I think those are good too but I think each one having only four shades they're very limited in the amount of looks you can do and in some cases a lot of them don't have a crease color and if I'm just thinking of somebody who is a beginner when it comes to makeup, you want to be able to kind of follow the steps
steps if you're following a tutorial and you want like a crease color and an outer corner shade and a lid shade, these have that in every single one of them. Even the green one, which I am wearing on my eyes today, the dancing green, this one has like a neutral brown that just has a slight green undertone, but it's perfect for your transition color in case you don't want a fully green look. And then you also have this satiny ivory shade here if you wanna do like your brow bone. And then you have the green shades. But if you don't like color, they also have different options like that are more neutral. So they have nothing compares to nude, which is just like warmer neutral shades. They also have taupe it up, which is more taupey and gray colors. So there's just a lot to pick from with these. And they are just, like I said, so user-friendly. If you don't see these around though, another great option is from Profusion. These palettes are $5. You get 10 shades in them. And the formula is also incredibly good. And not just for the price, but it's actually a good formula. So, um, you know, one that I would recommend to start with would be the classics. This one has just basic warm neutral shades in here. You have some champagne colors and some gold, some brown. So I think this one is just really easy if you're just starting out and you want to start playing with eyeshadow. Another favorite of mine is the emeralds because I love greens, but they have a huge variety again of different versions of this. So whatever one speaks to you is what I would get for your kit. You honestly cannot go wrong with these at $5 and they're in Walmart stores. So moving right along when it comes to eyeliners, I would have to go with the Koki Velvet Smooth Eyeliners. These are hands down the best eyeliners that I've found at the drugstore or anywhere. They're actually a dupe for the Urban Decay 24 seven eyeliners. And I actually like these better. I feel like they're a little bit longer lasting on your eyes, but they're so creamy and so effortless to just draw on. You don't ever like tug at your eye area. You can use these in your waterline and they apply beautifully there as well. These are just phenomenal. If you have trouble finding Koki though, they're, I think they're only available at Rite Aid stores. So if you have trouble finding them, I also recommend the LA Girl Shock wave eyeliners they're almost identical to these and those might be a little bit more widely available and you can kind of stop here with a beginner's kit just with a pencil eyeliner for now if you want to venture into a liquid liner though i would recommend this one also from la girl this is the jet setter liquid eyeliner and this one is one of the best at the drugstore it has a really skinny tip on it it has a brush tip which i find is super easy to use you just kind of lay it along your lash line and just glide it along and it just hugs the curve of your eye so easily it also doesn't skip it draws a really nice even line and it's just really easy to work with. So I think if you want to start playing with liquid liner, this is a great one to start off with. And then when it comes to mascara, this was a little tough because my favorite mascara would have to be the Essence Lash Princess, but at the same time, I didn't really want to recommend that as something to start off with because it is a little bit tricky. It has a trickier formula. It can get a little bit gloppy sometimes and also it tends to smudge underneath your eyes really easily and I didn't really want to recommend that. I use it when I know I'm not going to be out for a really long time but if you want something that is going to last and not cause frustration with the smudging then I would recommend the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. So this one gives you incredibly long lashes, has a really easy to use brush. It's it's nice and skinny, so you're not gonna like be getting mascara all over your eyelids. It's very easy to control and use. And also the formula is very thin. It doesn't clump at all. So it's very easy to just comb through your lashes. Even if you wanna do multiple coats, it's not gonna get really clumpy or heavy on you. And this gives you incredible length and curl to your lashes, which is what I normally look for because I do have a decent amount of volume to my lashes already, but they're short. So I usually want them them to be a little bit longer. Now, sometimes people say to me, what's a good mascara for adding volume? Because I already have really long lashes. I just want the thickness. And for that, I would recommend the Flower Beauty Warrior Princess Mascara. This is another one that doesn't smudge. I forgot to mention the Maybelline one doesn't smudge at all. It's so long lasting. This one is too. And I feel like this gives great volume and a little bit of length as well. So this is another outstanding formula that I really, really love and would recommend if you're more of a volume person versus length. Then when it comes to a lipstick formula for beginners, I would recommend these Flower Beauty Perfect Pout lipsticks. 
These are sheer and you can either build up the color if you want to and just add another coat or leave them sheer. And I, they feel like a lip balm going on. They have this plush kind of cushiony texture that makes your lips look so smooth and dewy with just a little hint of shine. I think these are extremely user friendly. For somebody who's just starting out with makeup, they give a really natural look, but at the same time, give your lips some color and they just feel good going on and they make your lips look really smooth and healthy. When it comes to a gloss, highly recommend the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. These are so beautiful. I feel like these make your lips look so perfect effortlessly. They smooth things out. They make them look plumper without using anything that's going to irritate your lips or burn or sting. They're not like that. They actually have hyaluronic acid that just hydrates your lips so much that they just kind of look plumped up from within and they give a beautiful shine. These are just something that you just kind of slick on and go. I'm wearing the Reef shade today. I love this color, but they have so many beautiful ones to choose from as well. And then last but not least, I just really wanna to touch quickly on brushes because I think it's important to have good brushes for a starter makeup kit. And the brush brand I would recommend, and the brush brand that I would recommend more than any other is Profusion. Profusion's brushes are just as good as high-end in my opinion. I use these all the time and I have really expensive brushes too, like from Refer, and I use these interchangeably with those. So they're awesome. They do not shed at all. I've owned Morphe brushes in the past and they shed their hairs all over the place and they really didn't wash well. They didn't hold up well. The Profusion ones hold up beautifully. They have face ones, like they have a foundation brush, a blush brush. Their eye brushes are amazing. And also they have a really nice feel. They have this kind of soft touch handle that bends in in the middle here. So it's just a perfect spot to hold it and to put your fingers. They're very ergonomic. And again, that makes them easy to use too because you just kind of naturally hold it in the right spot. So these are amazing. I feel like they're not in a lot of drugstores. They probably have them at Walmart where Profusion is sold or you can get them on the Profusion website, but I would definitely seek these out if you can because they're just phenomenal brushes at an amazing price. But if you're looking for something that you can get in the drugstore, I definitely think e.l.f. has some really great brushes and I have several of those in my collection as well. So anyway, guys, that's the whole makeup kit. Hopefully this didn't take too long to go through everything, but I just wanted to give you a basic kit that you could start out with if you know somebody who is maybe just starting with makeup, somebody who's in their teens, or maybe somebody who just never wore makeup before and is just kind of getting into it now. I think these are the best of the best and products that really are just super easy to use. So I would love to hear your thoughts down below if you've tried any of these products or if you have any suggestions that would be good for a drugstore starter kit. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And also thank you so much again to Melissa for collabing with me on this video. This was so much fun to do. Definitely be sure to head over and check out Melissa's channel. Thank you guys so much for spending part of your day here with me. I always appreciate it so much. And if you are new to my channel and you liked this video and you want to see more, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well. I do a lot of drugstore makeup content and also dupes here on my channel. So if you like that stuff, be sure to hit subscribe. Thank you all so much and I will see you all in my next video. Take care guys. Bye.